this video I'm going to talk about the laptop slider and you can find the slider into the sliders uh, main, main, main uh, menu item and as you can see we have uh, two, uh, two styles the main one and the alternative so this is the main one with a, a mask at the, at the bottom uh, simple arrows, a text here into the top of the laptop and the second uh, style which is actually a smaller uh, smaller uh, laptop with uh, some uh, content uh, in the in the right in the left sorry as you can see the captions are um, animating you can swipe manually and that's about it let me just edit the settings or I will I, I will just simply create a new a new page and explain uh, there So as you can see to uh, reach the option bar I just uh, hidden the, uh, the header and I'm going to edit the options. So this option here uh, specifies whether you want to enable or not the full screen. If you hit yes, as you can see the slider will be full screen. Then you have a slider title, I will just copy here some text because uh, I just want to make this video as short as possible and I can select um, display layout if you want just a laptop centered or if you want a laptop with uh, items description which is this one right here each slide has its own uh, uh, caption or simply laptop with slider details which will look like this but it will have a fixed uh, caption so as you can see these are the, the uh, details I'm going to just copy this text so we can move on quickly and we have the primary button button 1 button 2 I added uh, this uh, hash so we uh, just to fill in the the, the field let me just save it and as you can see what I've added is uh, the main title and the captions I just uh, added I will just make this back to uh, normal not full screen and continue with the other settings uh, would you like to enable the bullets now by bullets not sure if you've seen them uh, these are the bullets navigation and whether you want the control arrows which are these two right and left uh, this option will enable the autoplay if you want the uh, slider to autoplay and the transition timeout the, the automatic uh, timeout value between the slides uh, by default it's uh, 5 uh, seconds which is equal to 5000 milliseconds now you might have a background uh, which is uh, which is light here and of course the text as you can see it's uh, white by default 
but if you have a, a I don't know a white background you will surely need to change this option to dark and it will change the text to a darker uh, color uh, great so I will I will I will leave uh, I will leave it like this for the moment and I will jump into the background in styles options this uh, this um, these styles are for the background itself which you can uh, add uh, an image, a self-hosted video or a YouTube video with a colored uh, overlay and a bottom mask. Now, by bottom mask, I mean this thing right here. By default, is enabled. In my opinion, it looks good, so I would uh, actually recommend it. Now, for the background source type, we have a separate video which uh, covers this uh, this part it's called uh, background uh, options in elements because uh, actually many elements have this uh, this option so uh, I recommend uh, watching uh, that video so moving forward to the actual slides in the laptop I will add as many as I want as you can see I can delete this slide move it uh, sort it clone it or edit and I will just select an image I will specify a title just a description here and like I uh, made for the uh, buttons here I will do the same here button 1 button 2 and that's about it now uh, in order to move faster I will just uh, clone this uh, this slide and I will just simply change the uh, image and as you can see the image images have been added but because uh, the uh, display of the slider is set to um, laptop slider and a fixed caption uh, the uh, the captions I defined for this uh, for this for the each slide as you can see does not uh, scroll so I will go back and select laptop with items description and as you can see now it has changed as you can see they're changing so let me just also switch to just a laptop so this is the laptop slider element it's a uh, in my opinion is very easy to be used but if you have any questions feel free to ask and if you have any troubles again uh, feel free to subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye